Hey everyone, Harrison from Pinnacle West here. Today, let's build a rig together. We're looking at this 18 foot box truck that we recently outfitted. We built all of this from this. So let's run this back. This transformation journey began with an empty box truck handpicked and purchased by us at Pinnacle West. We can build in a truck or trailer sourced by you or by us. The first stage of our transformation is loading the equipment, starting with a robust 30 kilowatt generator, which we load in with a forklift, and then we position it, moving it back to the rear with a pallet jack. Next up, we focus on the spray foam machine, and today it's the impressive R1 E20. We gently hoist it in with a forklift, detach it from either side, and then smoothly wheel it in to its designated spot. A critical aspect in rig loading is weight distribution. These components weigh hundreds if not thousands of pounds, so ensuring that they are balanced in your truck is a key consideration when it comes to safety and efficiency. And now, finally, we come to the air compressor. This one's a mighty 5 horsepower roll air compressor boasting an impressive 18 CFM. The next day, we crafted an essential element of our rig an insulated wall. This wall separates the chemical, including the drums, machine, and hose, from the generator. These massive generators put out a ton of heat and noise. Therefore, the wall ensures that the entire trailer doesn't get progressively hot throughout the day, and that the people working in the truck can still hear at the end of the day. Here's a nice shot of the completed wall, which we then painted it to give it this beautiful, clean look. We also cut holes for and installed our generator vent doors. These help to vent the immense heat generated by the generators out of the truck. With the wall securely in place, we proceeded to flesh out the rig. We carefully positioned the spray foam machine, secured it to the floor, and then connected all the necessary lines. Keeping space and weight distribution in mind, we kept our plans fluid and we decided to move the air compressor to the generator room. We also placed the hose rack, storage cabinet, and air dryer into position. Now we jump to the finished product. Let's take a look moving from component to component and explain a little bit about what role they each play. First is the storage cabinet and workbench. This is probably the easiest one to explain. It stores all your different parts, safety equipment, cleaning chemicals, and other assorted items in a convenient, lockable location with a handy workbench for on-site repairs. Adjacent to the storage cabinet is the hose rack, cradling 220 feet of heated hose. This houses three separate lines for the A and B side chemicals and for compressed air. All of this leading back to the spray foam machine. Before diving into the spray foam machine, let's explore how chemical travels from the hefty 55 gallon drums to the system. Here, the Graco T3 transfer pumps play a crucial role. These air-driven pumps transfer chemical from the drums to the proportioner. You'll notice that there are three distinct lines coming out of each pump. Let's talk about these lines, their function, and where they run to and from. First is the air line. This line connects to the compressor, and as mentioned, air pressure is used to drive the pump. Managing air pressure is key to optimal pump performance. Second is the transfer line, a sturdy three quarter inch tube, which carries chemicals directly to the proportioner's pumps. This ensures a steady flow, maintaining consistent pressure for an even spray foam application. And finally, the 3 8 inch recirculation line. This line feeds directly to the manifold and keeps the chemicals in motion, maintaining their mix and temperature. This is particularly useful for half pound. The recirc line can also be used to help equalize pump pressure. Before we move on for the drums, you'll see a desking cartridge on the drums and an air dryer to the left of the proportioner. If the A-side chemical, isocyanate, comes into contact with water or moisture in the air, crystals will form. These crystals will clog up the lines, filters, and ports of your spray foam rig, leading to significant off-ratio issues. The desking cartridge takes the moisture out of the air coming into the drum, and the air dryer dries the air coming in from the compressor, ensuring that crystallization is kept to an absolute minimum. The air lines are labeled red and blue, red for hot and moist air, and blue for cool and dry air. As you can see, the Pinnacle team has done an excellent job in cleanly installing the lines for easy monitoring and maintenance. Next, we'll look at the heart of this system, the Reactor E20. 
This machine features electrically driven pumps that can put out over 20 pounds per minute. It accurately heats and pressurizes isocyanate, A side, and polyol resin, B side, ensuring that the complex chemical reaction is as perfect as possible. This control is vital for maintaining the foam's consistency and effectiveness. With its advanced control systems, the Reactor E20 allows operators to meticulously adjust settings, ensuring accuracy and reliability in foam application. It also incorporates safety features to prevent overheating and overpressurizing, safeguarding the system and the operator. Finally, we head to the back room where we find our air compressor, supplying pressurized air through the air dryer to the relevant components. Notably, the transfer pumps are air driven, and the air line that runs throughout the hose propels chemical from the gun to its final destination. Beside the compressor sits the generator. This powerful 30 kilowatt three phase generator energizes the entire system, rendering this rig completely self sufficient. Just to the left of the generator is the fuse box, efficiently distributing power to the components and incorporating fuses for safety and easy maintenance. Just below the fuse box, we have our S-Bar heater, which is vented to the chemical room. The S-Bar is a diesel-fueled heater that practically sips on diesel, all while keeping the trailer toasty warm. This is essential as while there are heaters in the proportioner and the hose, the chemical needs to be kept within a certain temperature range to ensure that the chemical reaction reacts as intended. So that is this rig built right before it left our facility, but an important thing to remember is that it won't look like that when it's actually on the job. So here's a quick little clip for you to show you what it looks like in service. In conclusion, we've taken you through the transformation of an empty truck into a fully functional spray foam rig. If you enjoyed this journey or have any questions, don't hesitate to comment below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment on this video. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Don't forget, Pinnacle West is your one-stop shop for all things spray foam and coatings.